opinion oh i had lots of questions in this video i have lots of questions so if you have answers i will take them <laughs> She calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry, you were right Just leave me be, I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time you wake up feeling worse And then you check the time Hey y'all, Tammy here with Vintage Up Rice in Texas I have a haul video for you. It is not from our travels because I yet to get into those boxes, <laughs> believe it or not. But since we've been back, we did go to a couple of thrift stores. I went with my daughter, once with David. So let me show you what that is since uh, I haven't gotten to those other boxes. But I still have some goodies. So, let's get started. I need to fill my shelves. <laughs> or do I? Anyways. You know, I'm out of fairy lamps. I don't, I have one amber stars and bars fairy lamp. And that's it. I usually have a ton of fairy lamps. But I've been out of fairy lamps. So, David found this little one. The little cabbage patch. Cabbage patch. Cabbage fairy lamp. It's one of the small ones, amber, and it's called cabbage, something like that. So we got this. David found some more goofus, cause he's goofy. It does have um, a little bit of spots missing right there. You can probably see it more here. This is the worst part. But it's getting hard to find Goofus with the painting all still there. It's got the gold and red. It's red roses. Look at how pretty that rose is. And it, the ends, the edges curve up. Cute little bow. So I found some kitty cats. These are so cute. They're not marked on the bottom. They need some cleaning they got some like glue residue on them but aren't those cute little white Siamese I don't know are they Siamese but they're solid white little snowball cats we'll call them snowball cute cute it's about this big are we blurry mm -hmm. very cute kitty cats Now, I rarely pick up glasses. It's always David picking up the glasses. These are very dirty. I haven't cleaned them yet, but they got the, the little bubble ends, little bubbles around the footing, tall water glasses. These are pretty, these are nice. They're gonna be very nice looking once I give them a bath. Nice, very nice. Then, um, I like these two. Now there are three of these. There are two, two in this size, lovely avocado green. And they got flat sides, round at the top, but flat down here, flat sides on the ends. And I like the, the stem there. Looks like some kind of gem. So there was two of those, but he found one, a little bit larger one. Maybe I'll keep this one since it's a single and I don't mind singles cause I want a little bit of everything. <laughs> don't you? So uh, we have these, what are these? If they're smaller, fancier wine, or what is it called? Uh, oh, I forgot that name, but of course I would. I would forget the names. 
Uh, it might come to me later and it might not. He found a single blue modern tone coffee mug. And looky, looky here. Is this a spooner? Is it a spooner? I don't know. Is that tape? I wonder if David knew that. He found this, I think. It has a purple tint to it. But it looks like there's a chip in the, I mean, a, a line in the glass, a little, yeah. There's a little ding in the glass. Right there. Huh. I didn't see that. Maybe David's keeping this because there's a ding in it. We can't sell it if it's got a ding in it. You don't feel it on the inside. I feel a little nick like, like a rock chip. You know, a rock chip in your windshield. That's what it feels like. So, I think that's a spooner. Then, we have this lovely decanter with a green lid. A green top, a rubber rubber base. It's not glass, but look at the design. That's nice. And they sewed them separately. Why I don't know. Little cordial, cordial. Is that it? Cordial. That's what those blue ones are. I mean, those other green ones. Cordial. It just came to me. <laughs> Then it had these two glasses. These were all sewed separately. <laughs> so these cute little cordial glasses, they match it. They go with it, you know, green top, green bottoms, and the design around the facing. So we'll sell them together. <laughs> Very cute. I like this set. Very nice little set. Okay, catching up on my, getting ready, not catching up, getting ready for some Halloween decor. This ain't vintage. I thought it was cute. Put a little candle or a little tea light up in there and the light eyes will glow. But it's pretty, it's fancy, look. Got a flower on it. For your little um, Halloween decor, I don't know, or just everyday decor. <laughs> I thought it was fun, so I got it. And then this cute little dish. I'm like, why am I getting this? It's dirty. I don't know. It m probably went to something else. But I thought it'd be a great little catch-all. It's mid-century. I love the color. A little dirty color it is. Yeah, that's just dirt. And it's a half moon. It'd be good for... um lemon wedges <laughs> i don't know um something in the kitchen yeah sure uh put it on your desk and have a little catch-all that way your paper clips and rubber bands and stuff like that or it could go in the bathroom and hold soaps which i have some soaps coming up next so i love the colors it's that minty green color and it's very dirty it needs a bath yes it needs a bath and this is really cool. I don't know nothing about this. It does, it is signed. Look. It does have a sign on here. Oh, I have my glasses. Don't know. Let's see if I can read this. Something right. I can't read it. It's squiggly. Scribbly uh, cursive. I don't know if we can see this very well. There we go. So it's a uh, glass, it's kind of heavy. It kind of looked deco to me, so I liked it. Something that you'd hang in your window. Pewter, uh, 
what is it called? Pewter or no? Uh, not, what is that stained glass stuff called? Words are hard, man. Words are hard. But I love the design. It's very nice. And it just needs a chain. Chain to hang. Or you could prop it up in the window, sitting up like this, you know? I just thought it was neat. Kind of cool. It's got sticker residue still that I gotta clean off. No, I did not clean nothing yet. Or you won't see it for another three weeks or so. So I thought I'd go ahead and empty it from the bags. All my bags are sitting behind me. And I thought I'd just go ahead and bring it. Bye. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. And I looked it up. And it's a little something. It's a little something something. Has a little hanger on it. It is um, Amy's. I think that says Amy. It's a wooden plaque, little uh, nurse cat. Nurse cat. Was it, or nanny, kitty cat nurse, or something like that. I thought it was RN. Kitty cat RN. I mean, there's a little roughage right here. I thought it was fun and interesting. I like interesting. So I thought I'd try it. We'll see for all my cat lovers out there. Something fun. Oh, this is fun. This is nice. Look at that. It's big too. Little pottery planner. Um, look at that yellow speckled browns and, uh, well, deeper yellow lines on it. There is no marks on here. No markings. It does have some crazing, it looks like, in there. <laughs> looks like it has some crazing. But a nice planter bow. Planter, right? Can you use it as a planter? I like that. Love the colors. Then we have a baby bin. You see that? That bottom, I didn't notice that in the store. I did love the colors. It's a metal. Is it metal? No, that's a plastic. Heck, I thought it was metal too. Well, I was wrong, wasn't I? But still, clock collectors, I like it enough. I'd put it on my shelf. The second hand is, seems to be a broken. Look how fast that goes. <laughs> it is ticking. Do you hear it? It is West Clock, Germany. But when I got it, it was in this box, which is Baby Ben Classic. This clock does not go with this box. Sam I am. So that's why I called it a Baby Ben. Or is it a Baby Ben? This is West Clock. But it don't say Baby Ben on here. But it says Germany and West Clock. West Clock and Germany. If I can get it to focus. But it don't say Baby Ben. But this is the box it came in. So. Anyways. What difference does it make? The hand don't work. But a lot of the clocks I do find that are old don't work. I like this one. I like the colors. I like the green. Then we got here a little, a smaller jewelry box with the red um, felt. It's satin red on the bottom and um, velour red on the top and satin here in that design. 
a smaller style jewelry box. No lock. Don't have a lock to it. A key. I don't have a key. Don't have the key. But I love these old vintage jewelry boxes. And, well, here's another jewelry box. This is a lacquer one. Lacquer. And it's a music box. And the music is yesterday. Look at that beautiful bird on it. That is so pretty. Has a mirror. It's black. Black velvet in here. And the little ring uh, holder here. And just a big open box. You shut it and the music stops. So one of those uh, lacquer jewelry boxes. A kind of a cream color. And then look at this, isn't that cute? She's so cute. I love little hand mirrors. I have, now I have a collection because I have three. And I keep buying them, but nobody wants them. But that's okay, I like them. I buy what I like, I like what I buy. It's a little, little painting or decal on here. It's a decal, probably a decal of a little girl on the back of the pink hand mirror. And here is the front. Has a little bit of um, discolor here around the edges. But um, yeah, you can't see that very well if you're seeing all my junk in the back. Just a little bit of discoloring on this edge like that. But it's cute. <coughs> I haven't looked at this tray yet pretty emerald green glass tray. Have not looked it up. Don't know who the make and model is or what it's for. Is it a dresser tray or is it a some kind of um, food tray? What do you think? Do you know? Look at the pretty design. You see the handles. Really pretty. So, Oh, let's get to the soaps. Look, Karen, I got some soaps for you. Some little roses in a basket, if you want them in a basket. I guess they set it up this way because there's a little egg, uh, an egg carton in here to hold them separately. But they're little um, Avon rose petal soaps. Now, these are so cute for decoration only as our mothers and grandmothers would tell us you know to put in the bathroom those are for the guests or decorations cute little basket of roses and then staying with the soap i found some more i just i don't mind having these in my bathroom so if they don't sell i'm fine with it but these were still in the box and they're little lemons Oh, and they had their own little, uh, I forgot, I forgot they, that they come with their own little glass tray. So, and it says Avon on the bottom of this. So when you see those old little trays like this, that looks like a hot dog tray or, you know, what would it be used for? Okay, perfect for lemons. A little lemon tray. Little lemon soaps, and they even say Avon. Do I have it upside down? They still smell too. So there's that one, and then this one, which I really liked a lot because it just fits the decor of my bathroom. Still, oh, I'm sorry. Still in its original box. Nice box, huh? Angelfish. Mm. Oh, and they still smell really nice. Angelfish. They smell nice. Those are cute. 
this would go in my bathroom with all my fishies on the wall. And my grandkids would be the first ones to use this soap. They would. All right, I found a little um, sunshine girl. Her hair is a mess. She got crazy updo hair and her cute little dress. She has her shoes on. Um, her elbow is a little messed up there on the back. She skint her elbow. These are, um, they have uh, articulated knees where they can bend better. I had, I just brought the mom and dad to a cell recently. So I just might add her to, you know, to that set when I go to list it. Um, they're wearing different outfits. There could be twinsies. I forgot what her name was, Steffi or something, Stephanie or something like that. So I got these cause I thought they were pretty. They're not owed, but I liked them. They're the stone um, hot plates and they have little pads on the bottom. And there are two of them that are matching. They're just pretty, don't you think? They're stone. And I think this might have been some kind of um, project I've seen people do on Pinterest and stuff. This might, oh, I got that upside down. Look at that, there's butterflies. I've missed the butterflies. So, little cute pieces. I like those. So I thought I'd try it. We'll see, see how that goes. Okay, what is this? What is this for? Is it a vase? I mean, it has a huge opening and a little skinny hoe in the center. What is this for? I picked this up, I got it. Then um, I just happened to be going through some boxes that I still have of my mother's that is packed up. And there's one in there. I didn't realize I still ha I had one. But um, I don't know what this is for. I thought maybe a punch bow set, that the punch bow would go up here. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Is this the way it goes? Oh, okay. Yeah, this way it goes. I thought it was cracked. Or maybe, the, maybe it is a little bit. See the little diamond point? Well, this little point is off compared to this being pointy. That one's missing the point. But what is this for? Does it go like this? Does it go like this? I mean, we can put soaps in it. We can put those lemon soaps in here. That'd be really cute. <laughs> we can indeed. I don't know what pattern this is. I need to look this up because we did go to a, um, just this week, uh, a couple of days ago, we went to a clearing out sale. Somebody was clearing out all their, um, an antique, an antique store had closed down and there was different sizes of this, of different, you know, with different patterns. So I need to figure out what that is. Go learn more about it. Here, this is cute. I love this. Cute, cute, cute little butter dish for your block of butter. It's still taped down. I haven't opened it, so I hope everything's okay in it. But pretty little design. What are those? What kind of berries are these hanging from a twig? I love that. I've never had one of these before. I never got to have one in my cell or in my, just n never in my life. So I was happy to get that. That was fun. Okay, we came across this new little thrift store um, that we never been to before. And she hadn't been there very long since October, August, October. But um, she didn't have a whole lot of vintage there, but she had some little fun, nice things. These, love these. Um, Japan spot Nortaki uh, spotlight J 
Japan glasses. I really like these. These are solid black. And there is a set of four of them. They kind of look um, gothic or something. But solid black glass. I love that. And this one still has the sticker. It doesn't want to focus. So, but I have a set of four of these. I didn't bring them all up here. And then, what are these? Glad, Glad Bake. So, and David found a set of three mugs, square mugs. Glad Bake. Glad Bake. And the um, blue and yellow and white. Nice little mugs. And then my uh, youngest grandson's birthday is coming up. And she just had these. And I just thought they were cute. Cute, cute, cute. These are going to my grandson for his birthday. Um, and I got this cute little thing from for my mailman. His little keychain. I'm going to give him this. Because he is so good to me and taking all my... Uh, big boxes on what big box day is usually Friday or Saturday for me but um he's real good I even got his phone number I can text him hey today's a heavy load <laughs> back up in the driveway so um I'm gonna get give him this I got I thought that was cute give him a little gift for being so nice to me and then we found these these are adorable Look at that. Pillowcases. Oh, I'm opening the wrong one here. Look at those pillowcases. Same design. Very pretty. Lovely. She's holding a basket. Oh, they're, um, let me get a little closer here. Look. They're 3D little lace on her dress ain't that cute 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 i'm gonna have a sheet sale y'all all sheets i have enough to do a probably a two hour sale on sheets so 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 um okay that's everything so as always give us a thumbs up don't forget to leave without giving us a thumbs up leave a comment below whether it's emojis or telling me what your favorite was or you know opinion oh i had lots of questions in this video i have lots of questions so if you have answers i will take them <laughs> and be sure to join us on tuesday at 2 central and wednesday at 7 central for our live sales um and be sure you hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you're not already. We would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. And subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you know anytime we go live or have a, a shop along drop or a, this haul video like this or when we do our drop sales for the peddler's train that we're going to start doing regularly, regularly on on once a month or once every four or five six months <laughs> something like that but we're going to do it regularly so until then you guys thanks for watching you know i appreciate you guys even if you just watch our videos so appreciate it and help me get um i'm almost to 2500 help me get up there i'm at 2580 so i need 20 more subscribers to hit that that little goal and then my next goal is 26 <laughs> all right you guys check y'all next time here come the kiddos bye five four three, three two, two one. one if you click that and click that subscribe button thing, up there, there and then clip click, click give a big thumbs, thumbs up, up. Bye. bye turn that thing off Turn that thing off.